Fantastic. Well done, Sven. And, th and, th and thank you, too, for telling me as well. Uh, be before starting, I asked Sven uh, from Emma I said, what are you going to perform? He said, actually, I'm going to perform a, uh, a, a classical piece. Uh, it's The Swan by Camille Saint-Saëns, which I'm not, a, uh, I'm not a, uh, uh, an aficionado of classical music per se, but once you started performing you it, you I You were familiar with it. Yes, absolutely, I was familiar with it. I've never heard it performed on a theremin before. I mean, that's, in, that's intense. It's, it's not an easy uh, instrument to play in tune, is it not? Uh, no, I, I sort of didn't have a life for many years and just did this. Uh <laughs> 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 it's, it's like the electronic trombone where, you know, a trombone has a slide and there's... Yeah, the, you yeah, know, I guess so. I guess so. Except with a trombone, you can still sort of move about with the beat, but That's you really true. can't. You really have to be, like, very, very still. Yeah, it's absolutely. It makes for a very lively performance, didn't you think? <laughs> Incre but incredibly... <laughs> it's, like wha it's like watching a statue. <laughs> No, but if you focus in on the on the, the subtlety of the hand motions, that's where the that's where the intensity from yeah, the performance guess, comes from. Guess, yeah. Very well done. I'm 
Thank you. Fang, live on Radio BDC. Sindri, very well done. I feel bad, Sindri. Should we have given you a mic stand? <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> I, I didn't know if that was by your request or by our, our, our oversight, but you're very busy. You have, though. If you're following Radio BDC on Instagram or on Twitter, you see a whole bunch of photos that we've been sharing of this. But this is a very, uh, a very uh, well put together rig you have here. You have computers and keyboards and samplers and all kinds of uh, electronic equipment. Yeah, yeah. It's a little mix of. Of, of things you're uh, singing live as well though the 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 vocal tracks that you're overlaying they're yours as well yeah yeah i also have this uh voice effect, effect. <laughs> thing <laughs> i need one of those man yeah make my radio show sound radio, awesome yeah yeah and yeah it has lots of these different kind of settings and then i have these synthesizers and like noisemakers turned uh, that go into uh, effect boxes 
And you have the greatest yeah. pizza sweater I've ever seen. You said it's yeah, new as yeah. well. <laughs> yeah. It's, it, I bought it yesterday. It's a black sweater. It has yellow uh, pizzas stitched all over it. It just it, it just looks so cool. <laughs> it's a very good find. Good for you. Now, uh, this is actually interesting. Of, of course, this is all part of a taste of Iceland uh, coming here to Boston, uh, courtesy of Iceland naturally. And this is an interesting kind of, uh, uh, we can kind of look at the two cultures, the, the American culture and the Icelandic culture. The mm -hmm. name of the song, the new song you just played is Candyland. Yeah. Why did you call it Candyland? What does the title come uh, from? I when w when I was about to leave, I asked my girlfriend to write the lyrics for this, which she didn't. <laughs> but <laughs> and she okay. said, "So what's the title?" And I was like, "It's Candyland." Okay. And uh, yeah, so the yeah, so then when I had to go and I had to write the lyrics for the song and kind of try to make it into some sort of presentable uh, work, uh, I just kept the name. Candyland. Well, you did like a it. very good job. Yeah, it it so. was certainly more than presentable. It was, it was very good to listen to, but I, I'm interested in the fact that you are not aware of the fact that there is an American board game that's been uh, famous for, s for generations called Candyland. You'd no. never heard of that until we told no, you about the microphone. I think it was probably in relation to the, we have a, uh, there's, I think it's uh, not an actual store, but like an aisle in a supermarket called Namiland, which I my kids I would love like that. to go to, and it's called Candy, and that's Candyland. That would be hugely popular here yeah. in the United States. <laughs> but interesting, though, that the first, uh, you know, as, as an American audience, the first thing we think of mostly, most of us when you hear the word Candyland is the game that we played growing up as kids, but yeah, it was yeah, I'm gonna you should to, try playing I'm it. Yeah. To Google it. Yeah, go yeah. for it. Get <laughs> pick, up, get pick it up. It's a fun board game. It's something you can play when you're on tour, you know? I will. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, give it up Thank for one more time, Kristen Fang. Thank you very much. Thank you.
Retro Stepson and Queen live on Radio BDC. It's Uni, right? Yes. I want to make sure I got it right. Did I do, b be honest with me, did I do okay with the pronunciations today? Yeah, very good. Okay, thank yeah. you. I, thank but you. I didn't tell you my real name. What is your real name? Unstead Manuel. Unstead Manuel? Yeah. S it's I very difficult. Did I, I do okay? I don't put the pressure on people. Okay, I appreciate that. Yeah. I do. I do. It's, it's, it, well, th we're all learning about Iceland here in Boston. Although this isn't your first time here, I know this because Tito, who is in the audience, is like, he emailed, he emailed me. I mean, we told people they could sign up to win tickets. He emailed me. He's like, dude, what do I need to do to get into this session? I love Retro Steps, and I see them every time they come to Boston. So clearly you've got a bit of a following here. Uh, yeah, actually, it's our first time in Boston. I've just been here as a, a tourist. Well, I messed that up yeah. then. Yeah. Oh, you saw him in I. Oh, that's right. You yeah, saw him yeah. not in Boston, but in Iceland. See, he's already, he's already got the uh, packages put together. He's already going to Iceland. He's taking the Iceland air flight over there. But uh, so this is your first time in Boston. What are your impressions so far? Are you enjoying yourself? Yeah, I like it a lot. Yeah. I like the seafood. Ah. I like the lobster. Yes. And the scallops. We have that in spades here in mm -hmm. Boston. And if you go up the coast, you can get it. You can get even more of it. We got it all up and down the coast in Maine and in, in, in the uh, New England coast. We yeah. specialize in seafood. We're going to Maine tomorrow. Oh, excellent. Very good. In a sea on a seafood trip. And then, of course, uh, the show is on Saturday. And you've got uh, quite a, uh, from what I understand, you've got quite a band that you bring uh, along with you, right? Uh, you, s you seem to be, I mean, uh, just all of you kind of like collectively, I mean, you, ha you have Sven up from uh, Herman Gerville here helping yeah, you out on the yeah, songs. So kind of all he came uh, on as a producer on our last album, and then we just liked him a lot. So we kept him as a band member. <laughs> I like that. He's very smart with he music. As clearly he's smart. He's taking classical pieces and rearranging them for a theremin. I yeah. mean, that takes some brain power yeah. and a lot of patience, right? Yeah. And, and, and a still body, as we learned earlier. I'm, well ju I'm just cool. <laughs> <so> <laughs> you just bring well you someone got that's smart. You have a w you're not just cool. You have a mix. wonderful voice. Thank you. It's very soulful. I enjoyed hearing you perform. Let's give it up one more time for our performers today. Herma Gerville, Sin Fang, Retro Stepson, all playing Reykjavik Calling. It's a free show on Saturday at the Middle East. They'll be joined by Boston bands Love Experiment and Skinny Bones. You can RSVP at IcelandNaturally.com. Thank you for listening here on Radio BDC.